Have you ever pondered on the mysteries of prophets in biblical times and their uncanny insight about the future? Today, we're setting sail on a journey that reverberates through centuries, a deep dive into the lives and prophecies of 12 formidable characters from the Bible. These individuals, through divine inspiration, were God's chosen mouthpiece on earth, illuminating the path for humanity with their extraordinary wisdom and spiritual insight. In the biblical realm, prophets were the esteemed messengers of God. They were endowed with divine wisdom to foresee events and steer people's lives. Their prophecies aren't just historical curiosities. They are significant cornerstones, offering a captivating look future events, often providing warnings or emblems of hope to the people. The phenomenon of prophecy is indelibly intertwined with biblical narratives. It's a divine disclosure, a revelation of God's will. These predictions, often draped in symbols and metaphors, are more than mere future forecasts. They serve as a moral compass, guiding societies the path of righteousness and justice. Now let's turn our focus to the Book of the Twelve, a compendium of twelve minor prophets from the Bible. These include Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, and Malachi. Each prophet had a unique role, a distinctive voice, and a crucial Hosea, known as the prophet of love, used his personal marital experience as an allegory for God's relationship with Israel. Hosea 3, 1. Joel, the prophet of the day of the Lord, foretold a future day of God's judgment. Joel 2.31. Amos, the prophet of social justice, vehemently preached against the social injustices of time. Amos 5.24. Each prophet, with their unique message, sculpted the course of spiritual history. These prophets, through their divine inspiration, didn't just predict future events, but significantly influenced the moral, ethical, and spiritual ethos of their societies. They were the pillars of faith, of hope in times of despair, their prophecies resonating through the annals of time. Are you prepared to delve deeper into the lives of remarkable men, to understand their divine visions and the profound impact they had on their world? If so, fasten your seatbelts, as we're about to turn the pages of the Book of the Twelve, the prophecies and insights of the prophets. Now let's immerse ourselves in the intriguing prophecies of these prophets and uncover their predictions. The journey begins with Hosea, a remarkable prophet whose life story served as an embodiment of divine affection. The tale of Hosea stands out as an embodiment of profound devotion, a testament to God's unyielding love for his children. Originating from the Northern Kingdom, this prophet voiced his prophecies during an era of relative tranquility. However, a spiritual rot was eating away at the heart of their society. Let's delve deeper into the life of Hosea, whose prophetic work is encapsulated in the book of Hosea. Hosea, whose name means salvation, is the son of Beeri and lived during the tumultuous final days of the northern kingdom. He served as God's mouthpiece for more than 40 years, from 755, 710 BC, during the reigns of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, and Jeroboam II, king of Israel. In the book of Hosea, particularly in Hosea 1, 2, 3, we find the striking metaphor of his marriage to Gomer, a woman notorious for her unfaithfulness. The Lord first said to Hosea, Go, take unto thee a wife of whoredoms and children of whoredoms, for the land hath committed great whoredom, departing from the Lord. So he went and took Gomer, and she conceived and bore him a son. Despite her recurring infidelity, Hosea's love for his wayward wife never diminished, paralleling God's unwavering love for his wayward children, the Israelites. This marriage, laden with symbolism, is a vivid representation of the relationship between God and Israel, with Hosea and Gomer symbolizing God and the disobedient Israel respectively. The Israelites, despite being chosen people, often deviated from God, much like Gomer strayed from Hosea. But just as Hosea forgave and loved Gomer, God too showed unwavering love towards the Israelites. One of Hosea's most significant prophecies was about Israel's return to God after a period of exile and suffering. This prophecy was beautifully expressed in Hosea 3, 5, Afterward shall the children of Israel return, and seek the Lord their God, and David their king, and shall fear the Lord and his goodness in the latter days. Prophecy came to fruition when the Israelites returned from their Babylonian captivity, further exemplifying God's enduring love and mercy. Hosea's life and prophecies paint a divine love story, an underlying theme that we'll observe recurring in the subsequent prophecies. We continue our journey with Joel, the prophet from the Old Testament, 
who vividly spoke of the day of the Lord. Joel, in the chapters of his book, prophesied about a time of profound darkness and despair, yet also of resilient hope and restoration. For instance, in Joel 2, 2, he describes the day of the Lord as a day of darkness and gloom, a day of clouds and blackness. His prophecies, rich in layers of symbolism, paint a detailed picture encompassing judgment and redemption. Joel's prophecy about the day of the Lord, particularly pronounced in Joel 1.15, where he says, Alas for the day, for the day of the Lord is near, and as destruction from the Almighty it will come, served as a warning of God's impending judgment, a time of catastrophic and calamitous events. Yet amid this enveloping darkness, Joel foretold of a beacon of hope that would shine brightly. In Joel 2.28, he prophesied, And afterward I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy, your old men will dream dreams, your young men will see visions. This prophecy is a reference to the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, a divine gift that would be indiscriminately available to all people, regardless of age, gender, or social. This prophecy found its fulfillment on the day of Pentecost, as described in the New Testament book of Acts, when the Holy Spirit descended upon the disciples. This event marked a pivotal moment in Christian history, showing the fulfillment of Joel's prophecy. It signified the beginning of a new era, where the Holy Spirit empowers believers with spiritual gifts and acts as a guide, counselor, and comforter. Hence, Joel's prophecies ultimately remind us of God's judgment but also his abundant mercy and the promise of his Spirit. As we delve deeper, we encounter Amos, a steadfast champion for social justice hailing from the village of Tekoa. He was not your archetypal prophet, he was a humble shepherd and fig picker. Despite his unassuming background, Amos was chosen by divine providence to carry a profound message to the northern kingdom of Israel. As we traverse through the book of Amos, we find his prophecies deeply rooted the socio-political milieu of his era, particularly in Amos 5.24, where he declared, But let justice roll down like waters, and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. This verse encapsulates Amos's fervor against the exploitation of the defenseless and the blatant disregard for righteousness. Navigating through the maze of his prophecies, it becomes evident that Amos was a voice crying in the wilderness. His pleas for justice and equity fell on deaf ears, and the social injustices he vehemently protested against led to the downfall of Israel. This is powerfully reflected in Amos 2, 6, 7, where he condemned those who sell the righteous for silver and the needy for a pair of sandals. However, Amos was not merely a prophet of doom. Amidst his grim pronouncements, he also prophesied the restoration of Israel, a prophecy that found fruition when the Israelites returned from Babylonian exile, rebuilt their nation, as stated in Amos 9, 14, 15. Amos's message rings true to this day, reminding us of the divine edict for justice. His life and words challenge us to uphold integrity and righteousness in our societies, as we grapple with our own complexities and injustices. The book of Amos thus stands as a testament to God's enduring concern for justice and equity, and its relevance in contemporary society is undeniable. From Obadiah to Malachi, these prophets presented a range of prophecies. Let's dive deeper into the profound sea of prophetic knowledge of these lesser-known but essential figures. For starters, we have Obadiah whose sole book, despite being the shortest in the Old Testament, packs a punch with its concentrated and potent prophecy. Obadiah's vision of Edom's downfall as outlined in Obadiah 1. 4. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. He warned Edom, neighboring Israel, that their hubris and arrogance would result in their history testifies the fulfillment of this prophecy, as Edom ceased to exist as a nation. This prophecy underscores God's intolerance for pride and the certainty of divine judgment. Next, we move on to Jonah the reluctant prophet who attempted to flee from God's decree. However, Jonah's prophecy proved to be one of the most impactful. Jonah 3, 4 records, Jonah's prophecy, yet 40 and Nineveh shall be overthrown. The entire city of Nineveh repented following Jonah's proclamation, earning them God's mercy and saving them from annihilation. This instance stands as a testament to God's merciful character, extending his grace even to those who have wandered far from him. Micah, hailing from rural Judah, presented prophecies laden with judgment and hope in equal measures. His most popular prophecy, as recorded in Micah 5, 2, But thou, Bethlehem Ephratah, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me that is to be ruler in Israel, 
whose goings forth have been from of old, from everlasting. This prophecy regarding the birth of the Messiah in Bethlehem came to fruition centuries later with Jesus Christ's birth. This prophecy showcases God's long-term plan, His omnipotence, and His intent for mankind's salvation. Each prophet, in his unique way, reveals different traits of God's character, His justice, His mercy, His patience, and His faithfulness. As we delve deeper into their prophecies, we gain a more profound comprehension of God's grand blueprint for mankind, a plan that eventually leads to the advent of the Messiah, the ultimate manifestation of God's promised salvation. So what do these prophecies tell us? They intricately weave a magnificent tapestry of divine themes that continue to resonate across the centuries, and they each hold a specific message. The prophecies speak of an unfathomable love, a love so profound that it challenges human comprehension, is explicitly exemplified in Hosea 11, 4, where it says, I led them with cords of human kindness, with ties of love. This represents the depths of God's love, a love that endures regardless of our flaws and failures. Hosea the prophet of love consistently reminded us of this enduring affection. The prophecies also voice themes of judgment and mercy, as seen in the words of Joel, the prophet of the day of the Lord. Joel 2.13 states, Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love, and he relents from sending calamity. This verse warns of judgment but simultaneously offers hope in the mercy of God, a mercy that is unending and forgiving. Then we have Amos, the prophet of social justice, who fiercely called for fairness and equality in his prophecies. For instance, in Amos 5.24, proclaimed, But let justice roll on like a river, righteousness like a never-failing stream. This is a message that upholds relevance and rings true even today. Lastly, from the prophecies of Obadiah to Malachi, we see the recurring promise of a savior, a promise that was beautifully fulfilled in Jesus Christ. Verses like Malachi 3, one prophesied, I will send my messenger, who will prepare the way before me. Then suddenly, the Lord you are seeking will come to his temple. The messenger of the covenant whom you desire will come. Through these prophecies, we gain an intimate glimpse God's divine plan and his unfailing love for humanity. The relevance of these ancient words today is immense, as they continue to guide us towards a future filled with hope and grace. They serve as a beacon, illuminating the path towards a harmonious life, reminding us of the divine love, justice, mercy, and promise that underpin our existence. These prophecies are not just words from the past, but timeless truths that guide us in our present and lead us towards a hopeful, grace-filled future. Before we wrap up, here's an interesting fact for you. Did you know that the word prophet in the original Hebrew language is Navi, which means spokesperson? This term perfectly encapsulates the role of prophets, they were not just predictors of the future, but rather God's spokespersons, delivering his divine messages to the people. They were the conduit between the divine and the earthly, transforming the intangible into words that could be understood and followed. Isn't that fascinating? The more we delve into the world of prophecies, the more intriguing it becomes. The words of the prophets, their messages, and even the origins of their title, all contribute to a profound understanding of their role in the religious and social fabric of their time. Until our next deep dive into the world of biblical studies, keep exploring, keep questioning, and most importantly, keep learning. Remember, every piece of knowledge gained is a step towards understanding our world and ourselves better. Stay curious and stay blessed. Until next time.